In the last video, we thought about a relationship between temperature and number of absences. Let's suppose that the teacher in the last story kept keeping that, those records for several more days and ended up with a scatter plot that looks something like this. Notice I had the computer draw this graph for me. So it uh, looks a little bit different than a graph that we drew ourselves would. But the key feature is here, namely, that it looks like these data all are scattered along a line. Looking at this scatter plot, it looks like the relationship between temperature and number of absences is approximately linear. Let's compare that to a couple of other scatter plots. In this scatter plot, it looks like a company has recorded the relationship between the unit price they charge for an item and the amount of profit that they make. Now, these points are definitely scattered along some sort of curve but it's not a line. So if we saw something like this, we would say that these data appear to be related, but it's not linear. It's not approximately linear. It's approximately something else. We would need a more complicated kind of equation to describe this relationship. Let's look at one more scatter plot. In this scatter plot, we see a relationship between students' shoe size and their grade on their math final. As you might guess, we don't actually see any relationship here, right? These dots are just scattered all over the place. In this scatter plot, we see no relationship. So we see no pattern at all. The points are just all over the place. In this graph, we see no relationship between shoe size and math final grade. So those are the three kinds of patterns that we're going to be distinguishing for the moment. The pattern looks approximately linear. There is a pattern, but it doesn't look linear. And there's no pattern at all. The points are just all over the place.